when you think you're getting what you pay for, but nope, let's talk net weight versus short weight products. Hi, I'm Jason with MFE, and my guest is Lisa from MFE Food is Love, our nonprofit arm. Lisa, you know that feeling you get when you find a shirt at some big name store that's perfect, and then you find the same one that's cheaper online, but when you get in the mail, it's not exactly the same. In fact, it's not even the real thing. Kind of like that cookie just now? Yep, so that's kind of what we're going to talk about today, except how it relates to some seafood products and packaging. So did you know that for decades, the food service pack for tilapia filet is actually 10 pounds. For tilapia whole, it's actually 40 pounds. Over the years, many importers have their processors intentionally shrink the actual weight of the product in the packaging to seven pounds for tilapia filet and 28 pounds for tilapia whole. What does that mean? Less product? Do they accurately label it seven pounds and 28 pounds so you know? Many of the people that are selling these smaller pack sizes are improperly labeling their products. What? Are they putting 10 pounds and 40 pounds on their packaging even though they know that it's less than that? That's a big difference. That's 30% less tilapia. This is why this type of packaging is called short weight packaging or cheater pack because you are being cheated. Wait, how do people get away with that? <laughs> well, the details in the packaging. Now let's say we have tilapia and the box says gross weight or gross weight 10 pounds or gross weight 40 pounds only on the packaging. And chances are that 99.9% .9 is probably a cheater pack. Also, if it says weight is 10 pounds or weight 40 pounds only on the packaging by itself, 99.9% .9 also that product is a cheater pack. You're saying that when you see the words gross weight and weight, that really means short weight? That's not the correct definition, is it? Can you tell me what gross weight, weight, or net weight really means to you? I believe gross weight is the total weight of everything, including the packing material, whatever is inside the packaging. Net weight, on the other hand, is just specifically the total weight of what is inside. And lastly, weight is a more general term, so it can refer to either gross weight or net weight, depending on the situation. Yes, I mean, vendors may print gross weight or weights only on their packaging. They're hoping that they won't legally be sued by you for receiving less. They can argue that they stated clearly that you are receiving 10 pounds or 40 pounds gross weight in the box, but that's not the actual weight of the product. It's the total weight of the box with the ice, with the product, and anything else that they throw in there. I mean, this method of mislabeling is completely, absolutely illegal. Some vendors may even deceivingly label their products net weight 10 pounds or net weight 40 pounds, and in reality, it's not. Now, that's absolutely wrong. That's crazy. I mean, that's unethical even. And then that's exactly what's going on in our seafood industry today. Packaging is being mislabeled, and consumers believe they are paying a lower cost by purchasing these cheater packs. But in reality, they are paying substantially higher than if they were to pay for a true 100% net weight product. Do restaurant owners or consumers not know this? Why do they not care? Many people in the kitchens of the hospitality industry don't understand what is gross weight or weight or net weight. They are focusing exclusively on price. Let's go through an example. We have both of these two bags here. It's uh, both of these are tilapia. Okay. Let me take a look at it. Do you see any difference between one or the other? I mean, they look relatively the same to me. That's right. They look the same, but in reality, Lisa, they're not. I mean, you may see that one of the packaging may say net weight 10 pounds on it, and on the other packaging, it may say gross weight 10 pounds on it. 
but they are both sold at the same price. If they were sold at the same price, which one would you buy? If it's the same weight and same price, I guess it doesn't really matter which one I buy. Unfortunately, you're wrong, Lisa. I'm sorry to say that. You open your bag of tilapia, go ahead, take the tilapia fillet out and deglaze it. And once it's deglazed, weigh your tilapia fillet. It should weigh 10 pounds. And that's exactly what it should be. Net weight 10 pounds. But if you take my bag as is with the actual packaging, with the actual frozen fillets and weigh the whole thing together, you may receive 10 pounds. So comparing these two together, which one would you buy? Well, I suppose then that means that there's less tilapia in your package. So I'm getting a better deal per pound with my package. So I think mine. Absolutely. You weren't aware of the potential difference. And, they, and some kitchen managers have been buying for so long that they have been complacent and unaware of the packaging changes throughout time. Short weight product may not be a priority for them. But in reality, the restaurant could be miscalculating their food costs and could be losing a tremendous amount of money. I suppose that makes sense since they aren't buying as much product as they think they are, but how much of a difference can it really be? Okay, let's say historical standard pack for tilapia filet is 10 pounds at $20 per case. The restaurant will calculate their tilapia food costs to be $2 per pound. Well, if a restaurant is unknowingly purchasing a cheater pack of tilapia that is in reality only seven pounds at $20 per case, then we get 285 per pound. That's almost 85 cents more per pound. So if you were to serve 10 pounds of tilapia from these cheater packs, it would actually take more than one pack and would have cost you $28.50 per case, not $20 per case. That's the difference between buying 100% net weight versus buying a cheater pack that yields only 70% of the product at the same price. Crazy, right? So in this case, for every pound of tilapia that this restaurant is selling, they're actually losing around 85 cents a pound, which then means that for every dish served with tilapia, there's a potential loss on the sale and the restaurant doesn't even know it? Yes, and miscalculation of food costs may lead to many restaurants to shut down because they just can't make money. How do you educate kitchen managers to not buy short weight? And it really can't be legal to label this way, right? Although many of the mislabeling is illegal, it's such a widespread problem throughout our marketplace from tilapia to swai to pollock to squid to crawfish to shrimp. Who's policing the labeling? The Department of Weights and Measures are the ones that oversee, but it's difficult for them to regulate all of this labeling. This is an issue that requires restaurant owners and managers to be proactive to self-audit the products. They need to purchase products from a reputable vendor that they can trust. How is MFE playing a role in this? Is there anything MFE can do to help? I'm proud to say that all the seafood that you buy from MFE are properly labeled with complete transparency on our products. We've always been an advocate for purchasing true 100% net weight products. When our clients do, 99% of the time, their actual costs will be lower. If you're interested in learning more about this, please call us and we'll have one of our representatives meet with you. MFE has been a trusted distributor for the finest restaurants in America since 2002. We hope that we can earn your trust. No tricks, no games, just quality seafood. And I hope this helps to highlight some of the issues the market faces around short weight products. If you have a question or comment, or you have some seafood topics you want us to discuss, please post them in our comment section. We'd love to hear from you. And if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe. We'll be discussing more topics in the future. Thanks for watching.